Oh, as I was saying, as I was saying, and I was actually thinking to myself in my head, I should do a three eighths inch uh, to a quarter inch hex versus a half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter versus video, and then it cuts out. It didn't do too bad though. It didn't, it actually lasted a very long time. So today what we are going to do is we are, we are going to do a versus video against the Makita impact driver versus the Ryobi impact driver. Now both of these will be using 4 amp hour 18650 cell batteries. And yeah, uh, this, just so you guys know, this is my favorite impact driver that I own. And that is because I loved how small it is with the power that it has. It's compact, the features that it has. And so I am curious how well this is going to do against the Ryobi and vice versa. So let's just get to it. Let's talk about the specs and then see how these actually are. Uh, so first, let's do the Ryobi. This is model number PBLID02. This is a four-speed selection with a variable trigger. Uh, this has auto speed one, two, and three. 18 volt system on the highest uh, setting, it is 2,900 RPM and 4,000 impacts per minute. I do love Ryobi's new design. I love the green with black. And so, yeah, so there is a single LED light on the base. Battery is full for the 4 amp hour on the Ryobi. This is the new Ryobi HP 4 amp hour battery. And so, yeah, so it's a high performance. It does have the special connections on the back, uh, but the impact driver does not. So, I don't know if it utilizes the HP part or Ryobi thought it might not need it. So, that's that. Quarter and six, uh, quick insert collet. Let's see if it is quick insert. Yes, it is. It is a quick insert. And this actually launches the bit after you eject it. So yeah. So that is the Ryobi. For the, for the Makita, this, this is my favorite impact driver. Now, uh, one feature that I love is that it has a speed selection on the front right here. As you can see, if you look on the base, I push in the, this little trigger right here. It actually completely adjusts the speed selection without even having to touch the base. So this is model number XDT16. This has a lot. Uh, I still need to do a video on this. This has a lot of features on it, which I haven't even explored them. But on the, the highest impacts per minute is 3,800 and the highest uh, RPM is 3,600. So that is 200 impacts per minute less than the Ryobi and this is wow it's actually a lot faster than, than the Ryobi it is 700 rpms faster so brush this motor this ring right here does glow in the dark it is a quick insert collet it uh it does not eject it does not launch it when you eject it you actually have to pull it out we will be using a four amp hour battery battery is full when it comes to actual length of this, this is 4.60 inches, 5.64 inches. So yeah, so the Ryobi is about an inch longer than the Makita. Let's see what these can do against each other. Alrighty, so for in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to do a uh, six inch specs, an eight inch timber lock, a four inch by half inch lag, and a six inch by half inch lag uh, in this video. I don't want to do a 10 inch lag because I want to save that for a video in the future, but these are hard tasks to do. And so, yeah, so it's going to be a good one. Alrighty, so we will have this on speed four, just a regular mode. Like I said, I got to do a video on this uh, in detail of what all these settings do. We have a fresh slate right here. This is actually my last log. All right, so we will do this right here. Ready? Go. Time. Now, if you guys see this right here, see this uh, ring, I'm say I'm going to save that for hardcore tests. All right, it is on speed three. Right here is good. Ready? Go. Wow. 
Yeah, I will say this, that the Ryobi is significantly louder. That is much louder. Yeah, both are 400 power batteries, both batteries are full. All right, so let's take out Makita's. All right, ready? Go. Time, God, I love that impact. I do. All right, let's take out Ryobi's. All right, so, ready? Go. Yeah, that's loud. I, I am gonna say, I am gonna complain about that majorly. That's loud. Well, let's uh, go to the eight inch Timberlock. All right, ready? Go. Time. All right, so let's uh, do Ryobi next. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Now, th that's seriously, seriously winding. All right, let's take Makita's out. Ready? Go. Time. Oh, and I, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Makita does have dual LED lights on the side, which it lights up the area perfectly. All right, next, let's take Ryobi's out. All right, ready? Go. All right, let's kick the test up a notch. Let's do a four inch lag each. Let's see how well these do with this. And just so you guys know, the reason why I don't do like four inch screws or three inch screws is because 12 volt tools could even do those. And th those aren't really uh, a good enough test to see what these motors could actually do. No, I don't do pre-drill holes at all for my, for my lags. That defeats the purpose. Right there is good. And this 3 8 to a quarter inch X adapter is working well. Uh, this has survived longer than any of my half inch to a quarter inch X adapters. So yeah, so if you want to use an adapter with your impact to do sockets, I recommend 3 8 Be Just because this adapter is lasting so much longer. All right, ready? Go. Wow. Time. That, that took a dive. That uh, slanted itself. That's not bad for a four inch lag though. That's not bad at all. That was quick. Have I seen faster? Yeah, but still that was pretty quick for a four inch lag. All right, Ryobi is next. We'll do it right here. So hopefully I can do it straight. All right, so ready, go. I think that's it. Yep, time. Yeah, you guys seriously need to give Ryobi props because their tools easily drive in these lags. They really do. Ryobi has majorly stepped up to the plate and uh, showed us his performance, but I will say it was a long process for them to do this. This type of power should have been uh, given to us a long time ago and not in 2021. It's one thing I give Flex props for. For being its first line of tools, they're pretty powerful. They're not the best, but they still are pretty powerful for their first their first line of tools. All right, so let's take out Makita's. Ready? Go. Time. And I'm pretty sure yeah, batteries are still full. I do love that display. It's uh, very bright and it's big. Let's take Ryobi's out. Ready? Go. Time. Ryobi's not doing too bad. I, I'll, I'll admit that. Ryobi's not doing too bad at all. Turn the difficulty notch up a little bit. 
let's do a six inch lag. Hopefully I can do it straight up. The battery on the Makita is still full. These tools are still cold. They're not hot at all right now. No reason to do a, to do a temperature test because it's actually, it's actually uh, chilly outside. It's like in the seventies or eighties right now. It's, it's not hot. All right, ready, go. All right, we'll redo that. Find another spot. Ready, go. Oh, as I was saying, as I was saying, and I was actually thinking to myself in my head, I should do a three eighths inch uh, to a quarter inch hex versus a half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter versus video, and then it cuts out. It didn't do too bad though. It didn't, it actually lasted a very long time. Now that was, now that adapter was Makita. So let's use Ryobi for a little bit. Let's see how Ryobi does. All right, let's uh, start, restart the timer. Continue. Time. Right here is good. All right, so. Oh, just so you guys know, when it comes to the Makita doing its lag, I'm gonna start the timer right when it actually bites into the wood and not just spin in place. All right, ready, go. Up a little bit more. Time. See, Ryobi does Ryobi does these very well. You guys got to give Ryobi props. They need to seriously make all their tools like this, and not just a couple. They really need to make them uh, powerful and reliable. Could this be a little bit stronger? Yes, 100%. But it is what it is for right now, and it's actually it actually it, it does impress me on how far Ryobi has come. All right, so let's take Makita's out. All right, so ready, go. Time. I'll stop the timer at the proper time. All right, so the final battery life for the Makita is three bars. We'll check it out after Ryobi's turn to see if that one bar redeem it, redeems itself. All right, Ryobi is next. I'll be surprised if this adapter survives. Ready, go. Time. That, that is powerful. That is powerful. Oh, that was hot. All right, but as you can see, oh, so let's uh, battery life for the Ryobi. Full bars still for doing the same tasks. And the Makita, three bars still. Alrighty, so when it comes to these two doing this video, as you can see, I do not, I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video. But I could, I feel that Ryobi actually kept up a little bit when it comes to these tests. I'm pretty sure if I added a 10 inch lag, we would see the difference between these two, the real difference. But I want to save that for a future video. And so, yeah, so I do apologize you guys so much for not uploading for an actually not uploading period for the past like six days. It was terrible. And so, yeah, I have major Wave Runner updates for you guys coming soon. I'm almost done with the rebuild when it comes to uh, the engine and electronics and how it how it looks. I still have a few things to do, but uh, yeah, the rest of it is waiting for stuff in the mail and just putting it on. Uh, so yeah, so updates on that are coming soon, but yeah, if you were looking to see what line you wanted to buy in both of both brands seriously have a good assortment of tools 
And so yeah, but when it comes to impact drivers, I prefer the Makita. I love this Makita. This is my favorite impact driver that I own. It's small, compact. It's not the most powerful one, but it does the job that I need it to do. And it actually lasts pretty good when it comes to the battery life with a 4.5 hour battery or even higher. And Makita and Ryobi, Ryobi has one battery with 21700 cells in it. That's the 3 amp hour uh, P195. But Makita, you need 21700 cell batteries. You seriously do. I highly recommend you make them now. And you're like, we needed them like a year ago. You seriously need to make better batteries for the line of tools that you already have, which is your 18 volt line. I know uh, Makita made a 40 volt line, but I, I have the 18 volt right now. And it would be nice to have better batteries for these tools. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.